Morning everybody. Dee here from the Rustic Garden Retreat. I'm so excited. Today is a paint day. I love paint day. Of all the things that some people dread, I don't understand how you could dread painting. I've got some painting to do out in the garden. I'm excited. I'm thinking that the weatherman might have got today's weather wrong. He said it was just going to be cloudy, but I felt mist in the air, so. This is dark colored plastic, like that. These pots are really old, and I just wanted to see if I could paint them. That's only the first coat. He would need to dry for most of the day before I give him a second coat. That's the same color as my house. This is my house paint that I am using. I just wanted to see if it would work on plastic. Live and learn. <laughs> Try and experiment, you know? We'll see. I'm not overly thrilled at the scraping. I've got to scrape him down. He was a baby bedside that I found in a neighbor's trash. And I said to myself, he would make a great trellis. And that is my goal, that I've got to scrape him down. This is my barbecue scraper. <laughs> and I'm using him on this to get rid of any of the loose stuff. I feel like he's doing a pretty good job of it. But I'm going to be doing this for a while. Get him all cleaned up. Sometimes I lay the blade down if I feel like it needs it. Because I want the paint to adhere. I need to scratch up his surface and get rid of all this loose, flaky stuff. See where they set it out there and he was peeling. Can't get that all cleaned off. I might even sand him down a little bit before I do anything with him. But I'm going to work on this for a while. Here's what the clothesline pole looks like currently. I'm going to take the hummingbird feeders down. I haven't seen a single hummingbird up there. I did see hummingbirds on my petunias over there. So I'm taking this down. Me too anyway. There's a little moldy stuff growing in here. It's got to come down and get bleached out, washed out. Yeah, it's growing on this one too. Apparently you have to change the water out often. He wasn't interested in it. He went for those petunias. But uh, anyway, I'm going to be changing this out where the grapevine used to grow and get my trellis put in. Well, the afternoon sun has won the day on this. This is as far as I'm getting for right now. I have some finer mesh that I want to go down to where the vine actually is to get it started going up that one step at a time. We don't get everything done at one fell swoop around here. And as the sun allows, I'm getting a first coat on all of the pots. I think I'm gonna like it in white. I plan on painting the slats, the little slats a different color, but the overall pot a white. And I will get there a little bit at a time as the sun allows. <laughs> I'm very sun sensitive. So anyway, you know, when you do gardening, it's not an, an all or nothing thing. It's a little bit at a time thing. You guys have a good evening. I'll get back to this one day this week, if the rains and the sun will allow me. Yeah, I think that's going to work. I may actually widen the bed at the bottom, but not today.